Now everyone has made it back to Eden Zero safely, which they get a call from Elsie, who's wrapped in bandages, seeing that everyone is safe because her ship is acquired with medical technology, so she'll be alright. But Homura actually thanked her men for saving her life. In which, of course, we actually knew that she has battled justice, even though that he's actually in the military force. But we knew that six of them actually have classes of their own within the government. So now, it's hard to say that they might actually find a way to actually meet them. But we actually knew how they're going to encounter one of them. However, Elsie said that they'll continue pursuing Siki while they're actually continuing to their quest, which she actually said they'll meet again. Plus, Laguna actually wanted to know how they m knew her, but we actually knew that Weiss told him that this is their fight, but he actually has no problem teaming up with him, which he actually going to remain in the ship. But he said that he'll continuing his quest in the ship until he requires and achieve his goal. Until then, he actually will continue playing the part that he actually have. The part of the man who will has no goal. And what that goal is remains unknown. But we will actually see it one day. Meanwhile, we've seen Moscow and <clears throat> the Bee Cooper actually having a meal together. Which they actually establish a friendship which we seen the little girl actually didn't eat her food which which actually asked her about her family but we actually knew that she doesn't have any parents because Mimi is the only friend that she has left in her only family which her name is Aruna, which we actually see how which told her that they have lost Valkyrie as well. So she knew what she actually has gone through, in which we actually knew how robots actually has emotions as well. Meanwhile, back in the medical area, we seen Shiki actually carried Silverleaf because of what actually happened, which Hermit actually heard about him, which he still actually haven't woken up. So now we actually gonna see how he'll teach Shiki about gravity martial arts. So we actually see him rebooted himself, which we actually see him has full of energy but we actually see how he survived the do stay protocol but he actually say that because of his personality change it actually been transferred to a cloud storage like a cloud for transferring pictures it actually transfer his personality so now he asks Shiki for something that he can do but we actually headed back to the rain room where Jin actually waiting for her his sister but we seen Weiss actually talking to him about Dr. Muller who actually torture him but we actually see how he told him that they have shared his grief. But he actually told him that they defeated him. 
But <clears throat> I, Sister Ivory actually appeared and told them that Sylph is actually all right, which she actually told Jin about what's actually happened. But we actually see her actually smiling for the first time, meaning that Ivory had removed part of her memory, the part where she and Jin were tortured by Dr. Muller. So now we actually see that Dragon Joe's debt had been paid off. So now we see how the promise that Jin actually kept is still intact, but still we see Jin actually shedding tears for the first time for her sister's recovery. So now we actually see that they didn't collect the relic, but they will soon, hopefully. It looks like everything has actually gone back to normal. Well, especially for Sylph actually being healed from her dark past. Plus, we've seen Suras actually going to ask Shiki about one thing that he wants to do. So we're going to see what's going to happen on the next chapter next weekend. So anyway, like this video, subscribe for more, and comment what you think about the manga chapter. You guys can also follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, and my Facebook page. Until then, this is Anime Guys running here saying sign out. Laters and be safe.